All right, welcome back. This is chapter 1.3. All right, welcome back. This is section 1.3 on circle vocab. A lot of chapter one is just on vocabulary, making sure we understand it. It'll be short and sweet, real quick here. Uh, many of these terms you've probably already heard, uh, vocabulary around a circle. One is radius. Radius clearly connects from the center to an edge of a circle. Hopefully you know that, like from here to there. So OB would be a radius, so would OE, so would OA. Those are all radii. I'm just going to put one example down here. I will put down OB. So OB would be an example of a radius. Diameter, diameter. Actually, I'm going to come back to diameter. I'm going to jump to chord. A chord is just any segment that connects two points on a circle. So there's a point, there's a point. CD would be a chord. On the circle, AB is also a chord. It connects an endpoint to an endpoint. But AB might be what you're more commonly referred to as a diameter. A diameter is just the circle's longest chord. It's a chord that happens to also go through the center point. So the diameter of the circle would be AB. And of course, there's more diameters, uh, but that's the only one shown on this picture, right? Like if I started at E and went through O and went over to here, call that F, the EF would also be a diameter. Right? Uh, so radius goes from the center to an edge, chord connects two endpoints on an edge of a circle, diameter is just a chord that goes through the center. A secant might be one that's actually new to you. A secant is just a chord, uh, but a chord that doesn't stop. So, the, so CD was a chord, if I kept it going and turned it into a line, then it's not a chord anymore because it doesn't stop on the edges, we just give it a new name, we call that a secant. So CD as a segment is a chord. CD as a line is a, C, is a secant. A tangent line, a tangent line is just a line that touches a circle in a single point. On this circle, TG would be my tangent line, right? Because it's traveling along here, just touches it once there and keeps going. The point of tangency would be T, because that's where it's where it hits the circle, uh, that's a tangent line. Arcs, all right. An arc would be just a curve on the circle. So like I could say that arc right there, that'd be arc CD. That is a minor arc because it's just a small arc. Anything less than half a circle is a minor arc. It's just default name by two letters, CD. Now you'll notice I could make another arc. I could make this arc starting at D and going all the way around to C. That would be clearly a, not a minor arc, that'd be a major arc, so it's much more than half of a circle. Uh, but you notice I couldn't call that major arc CD because then I've got a problem. It's the same as minor arcs. Anytime you use two letters, two letters, the default is it means the minor arc. So if I say arc CD, that's the arc symbol, by the way, right up here, the little curve. If I say arc CD, you're automatically referring to the minor arc. If I wanted to talk about major arc CD, I couldn't call it like that. I mean, I could write the word major in front of it, major arc CD, but that seems silly. Instead, I would just use three, three letters. I'd say I can start at C, pick some letter in between there, say E, and then D, major arc CED because then I can see that that means it's the arc that starts at C. I'm getting rid of this stuff. The arc that starts at C goes through E and then hits D. That'll have to be this one. So a major arc is going to require three letters. Uh, the only other thing is semicircle. Semicircle is exactly half of a circle. So let's say if I wanted to name that half of a circle. Uh, that would be from A to B. That's half of the circle. That would be a semicircle. That also will require three letters because otherwise I won't know if I'm talking about the top half of the circle or the bottom half of the circle. I'll name that one ADB. Sure. Then you can be clear that the semicircle I'm talking about is that top half and not the bottom half. That's it. All there is to it. That's your vocab around circles. See you next chapter.